Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Good evening. Daniel. Hello. Good nice to see you. Juan. <laughs> hello, Fernando. It's my pleasure. Good evening. To see you. Merlin over here. I'm really glad to see you. I you thought that you were going to start your vacation today, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have Aiden. Hello, Aiden. I have Jose Daniel. I have, I have. Hello, I have Aiden as a listener. I have uh, also Daniel, right? And Gladys. Okay, thanks for letting me know about it. I hope that, well, you can solve a technical problem if that is the case. Okay, I have Daniel, Jose Daniel, Aidan, Gladys, Juan Fernando, Merlin, and Ronan. Good. Good to see you here, uh, you know, tonight. I don't know if you want to continue talking about the, the, the last topic we, we started the last week. How are you doing with your with your passive voice? Uh, <laughs> with your passive voice. Oh, I'm sorry, Ronan. I, hopefully you, I mean, it's going to stop raining. Okay, I have also... Oh, all right, Ronan, I got it. I have Michael. Michael is just getting into the class. Good evening, Michael. I don't know if you can listen to me now, Michael. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Good welcome. Listen. Welcome back. Welcome back to the class. Hey, well, I was just asking about, about your homework assignments on uh, passive voice. Have you been dreaming about passive voice? How are you doing with your passive voice statements? Have you been practicing? Have you been studying about it? Algunas logré escribir. <laughs> Some of them. Well, you know, well, we're going to dedicate uh, to another topic. Of course, we're going to continue working a little bit with passive statements, passive voice statements. Okay, Maria Elba, welcome. Good to see you here, Maria. Really happy to see everyone here. I have 10 people, no, nine people, and still waiting for the rest, okay? But it's quite good to see you here. Well, I hope that you are going to have a great vacations, right? But you have to wait until tomorrow because tonight we have to work. We have to work, we have to work a lot, okay? Okay, Vera Liz is just getting into the class. Hey, um, how was your weekend, people? How was your weekend? I have Mr. Morales over here. Jonathan, good evening. I have uh, Vera Liz, Jonathan. <clears throat> okay, good. Good evening. Good. good evening. Well, I think I, I will check list attendance. Tell me, let me know about your presence in the class. <clears throat> We're going to start as soon as I finish with the with the list attendance. And okay, I have Aidan, Belen. Hello, hello, Aidan, Belen. Daniel Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, Edgar Edilson. Gladys Rubinia. Present. Okay, Jonathan Josue. Present. Thank you, Do uh, Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Good, Juan Fernando. Present teacher. All right, Maria Elba. Mario, I saw Maria Elba. I know Maria Elba is there. Mario Cristobal. Berenice. 
מרלין, I know Merlin was, it's the, Michael. <laughs> Aníbal. All right. Norma Xiomara. Ronan. <clears throat> Teresa Maria. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Thank you. And Chancy. Well, I hope everybody is all right. Okay, espero que los que estaban enfermitos la semana pasada se hayan recuperado. Okay, y que pues le echemos todas las ganas a esto para poder ver avances significativos. Okay, acuérdense que esa va a ser nuestra, nuestra meta. Siempre que entremos a una sesión, tratar de, de estar 100% concentrados, de estar este, participando, practicando, que eso es lo que nos compete, ¿verdad? Avanzar, avanzar y avanzar. All right, so we're going to start. And you see, well, I, I have, I really love to start by, by seeing the platform. Okay, so because in the platform we can have some review, right? So we can see something we studied or we started with the previous class. And um, of course that, well, this is the topic for tonight, you know. This is the topic for tonight. Okay, so we're gonna see some exercise. I mean, some exercises about in industry. Okay, the product and the service that some, uh, I mean, places provide. And, but before going to that part, there is a there is a, an exercise about a passive voice. And after that, uh, well, uh, Daniel is going to share because Daniel, you told me that you 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 could work in the in the uh, in the passive voice sentences or exercises that. Uh, I assign you to work in the in the WhatsApp group, right? So look at over here. That that was the last class. Okay, this is the last class, right? You can see the info there. We were talking a lot about passive voice, and well, this this is the exercise number five. I could notice that uh, the majority of you already finished the activities in in about the week number one. But there are some others, uh, just a few of you who haven't finished it yet. So I highly uh, recommend you to, to work on the activities because, it, you know, for us, it's quite important to notice about your improvement. Now, well, let us, let us read some uh, sentences and let us choose the right information or the information that's correct. Okay, now... I will read the statement that you will tell me true or false, okay? We use the passive voice when we don't want to, or when we don't want or need to specify who did the action, true or false. We use the passive when we don't want or need to specify who did the action, true or false? True. True, right? True. Can you provide an example? Can you provide an example? Can you provide an example, people? Okay, this is active or passive, people? We use passive when we don't want, we use passive, okay, active. Passive. No, I mean, we, when I say we use pa, the, we use the passive, this is an, an active sentence or a passive sentence. We use the passive voice. We use the passive voice, active or passive. Active. 
active right it's active active okay so you want if we want if we want to to make it passive if we want to make passive voice this one how will you do it how would you how would you um how would you say uh, 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 the same by using passive voice Passive voice. Yeah, the passive voice. Mm. Is used. All right, so that's the simple like that, right? So we use passive voice, passive voice is used. That's passive, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, man. Well, the, the point is that when we say this this sentence is because it's true, right? Number two, we use the verb be and the past participle to form the passive. True or false? True or false? True. true. true right? It is true. Yes, somebody. We use the verb be in any sentence that's in the passive voice plus the past participle to form the passive. Number three, you can omit who did the action when you are using the passive. Can you omit it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, right? True. It is true. You can mention the doer of the action by adding by in the passive. True. 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 It is true. The doer is more important than the action. False. Okay, we're going to check it. Why it could. Okay, quite good. We have been, hey, even though the topic is not that that easy, you know, we have been uh, doing, uh, we have done a great, a great job. Aunque el tema, pues, algún, en un momentito se tornó un poco difícil. Miren, creo que hemos hecho un buen trabajo. Y ahora, let's see, uh, we're going to check some sentences. Okay, I will stop, I will stop sharing this. And then we're gonna go with the with the topic for tonight. I have a link over here that I will share with you because uh, there is a reading that we're gonna go over. Okay, we are going to work in some exercises about vocabulary related to companies, expertise, classification, and where it operates. So this is something that we're gonna go over it. And, well, I have also another activity that's going to be interesting. Okay, so we have a lot of work to do tonight. Well, but before going to this part, which is a reading activity, I will ask, uh, well, Daniel, Daniel, I know Daniel already finished. I don't know if you, if you can share uh, the screen, Daniel, to to share the exercises that I... Lo que nos mandó en el WhatsApp. Yeah. Yes, man. La primera era, they finished the work. They yeah, finished? Pas That's finished passive. The work. They y... finished? Give me a second. Look for yes. it. I need to see it in the, in the WhatsApp group. Give me a second. Give me a second. Because I remember, okay, it's over here. <laughs> My goodness, I can see the image. I delete you. Okay, can you share it? Can you share the, the image again in the in the WhatsApp group, Daniel? Or anybody, please? Because I lost it. I don't know what happened to my and then we're gonna discuss it, okay? We're gonna spend like 15 minutes on it. And then just we're gonna work a little bit in the topic that uh, we're in charge of working tonight. Thank you. I will see it. 
All right, now, yeah, thank you, Daniel. You're very kind. Okay, they finished the work, okay? The work was finished by them. Was finished. Very good, by them, okay? So, by, you know, that's optional. If you want to emphasize it, you can use, thank you. Okay, that was the first one. Give me three of them, Daniel. Second sentence, I buy the new books. The new books are both by me. Are both. All right, very uh, good. Number three. Three, we will celebrate his birthday. His birthdays will be celebrated by us. Okay, excellent. Very good. So that's possible, right? So do you want to continue, Daniel, or do you want to give the opportunity to somebody else? Don't <laughs> Okay, okay. I know you get very excited when, when doing the exercises. That's really good. Okay, Daniel, go ahead. She uh, wrote a letter. Wrote a letter. letter was written by Chia. Excellent. And Harry? Harry killed a snake. Uh -huh. A snake was killed by Harry. Was killed by was Harry. Killed Excellent. By Fanta hey, congrats. You got a 10 in the in the passive yeah. voice sentences. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Clap for you. Yeah. Clap for your effort. Daniel, yeah. Daniel, I mention somebody in the group to continue, please. Mention somebody, but not the listeners, because Daniel, uh, Aidan, and Gladys, they are listeners. Now the rest. Uh, Michael. Okay, Michael, go ahead with the next one. Lata. Hey, what a name, right? That's Lata, right? Michael, are you there? Mm, yes, teacher. Sorry, okay. I don't do I don't do the homework. You didn't do the homework. Okay, do it now. Do it now, Michael, because I will ask you at the end. Now, uh, what uh, about what about it? Nival? Lata sings a song. Teacher, I didn't. Ah, you didn't do the homework either. No, Aniva? Okay, do the homework. Okay, do the homework. Okay, now who did the homework? Who, who else did the homework besides Daniel? Okay, anybody else who wants to share the answers? Anybody else? Anybody else? Remember, active participation is quite important. Maybe you were thinking too much about vacation time. <laughs> okay, now, Harry, no, that was Lata sings a song. A song. A song is sung. It's sung by Lata. Yeah. Soham is writing a letter. That's present progressive. That's present continuous. We started that in the basic level of English, right? So, I don't know if you got that one because I didn't teach you about how, the way to do it with present continuous. Zoham is writing a letter. Who got it? Daniel, did you get it? A letter is written by Zoham. Ah, uh, okay. So uh, I will I will clarify something there. Okay. A letter. Look at the chat. Let me see. I will see the sentence once again. That's so ham, right? He's writing. Okay, it's present. Look at the chat. Is so ham is writing a letter. So I will explain something about present continuous. Is that the correct? Is that the sentence, people? Yes or no? Did you see? Did you see the sentence in the chat? 
Do you see the yeah. sentence in the chat? No, 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 sorry. no, no, oh, no teacher. See. Oh, give me, give me a second, please. Because this is, this is, I know, I know that, well, this is not going to be the last time. You study passive voice, okay, so... Por supuesto, no va a ser la última vez que estudie en voz pasiva. ¿Por qué? Porque pues, te... hay que verlo en todos los tiempos con mucho, mucho detalle. Ok, pero ahí está otro tiempo. Eh, Soham is writing a letter. ¿Es that the sentence? Yes or no? Yeah, that, that is the sentence, right? So, when we have present continuous, we do it this way. A letter, a letter is being written. Okay. Can you see, can you see the, the way to do it? What happened, what happened in the sentence? We have a verb to be, right? Verb to be in present is, and then we have verb be in ing form. En, en ese caso, vamos a tener verbo be dos veces. Uno, si está, si está, bueno, como es presente continuo, el verbo uh, be va a estar en present, y, pero ya luego tenemos que agregarle be en ing. Y de ahí el pasado participa. Okay. No os preocupéis si pues no hemos visto como muchos ejercicios, porque acuérdense que ahorita lo que yo trato es de despertar como esa, ese interés por indagar más por los temas. Okay? Now, after that, we have, let me see. Uh, please accept this gift. Please accept this gift. The gift. The gift was accepted. Now, what is that? That that is that is uh, a command. No, that is please accept. Yeah, accept. The gift, accept the gift. Be the gift accept, uh, accepted. Be the gift accepted. Okay. That is okay. So, you know, well, we're going to stop going here. So, do me a favor to continue investigating because we have more, right? So, he, he gave me a pencil. The mason is building the wall. The the peon open the gate. The gate. He will finish uh the work in the fortnight. Who did the? But we have. You have some other exercises right there. Do me the favor to invest. To continue investigating, right? And try to solve them, because well tonight we're gonna go over some other topic. I told you, right? And in order to start. I I um I included I looked for this info which I I consider is quite important just to introduce just to introduce the topic. Okay, I will share it in the chat so that you can see that we usually do it. Okay, so we are going to have a lot of info because it's a reading, people. It's a reading. And then we're going to try to get into the topic fully. We're going to see the PDF. Okay, and you see. Now, you know the word skills, people. Do you know the word skills? What are skills? What are skills? What are skills, people? Como habilidades. 
Um, oh, okay, so I got it, Michael. Yeah, abilities, right? Skills, abilities. Okay. And, you know, for the 21st century workplace, now, do you think people should have the same skills uh, that people had in the past? ¿Creen ustedes que las destrezas de este siglo o que este siglo nos, nos demanda, pues son iguales o muy similares a las del pasado? Skills are different. Uh, they, they are different, right? Uh, and every, uh, I mean, uh, when the time passes by, things are becoming like uh, very demanding, okay? People are asking us to be uh, or to get very prepared to face the activities at work. Now, this is one question that, that has really caught my attention, right? So, hey, have you got the skills you need for the 21st century workplace? That would be a really nice question, right? You are doing something different from the rest, right? You are learning a second language. You're learning English and that you are just making the difference. Now, if you, if you include like another language, computing knowledge, um, et cetera, well, I think we're just, or you are just doing something different. Now, well, I have, there are some instructions in here. Uh, we're gonna read the article and do some other exercises. In the preparation part, we have this. There are some skills, okay. We're gonna read, there is some vocabulary. Recuérdense que vamos a estudiar vocabulario, todo lo nuevo, ¿ok? Que encontremos por acá, por favor, váyanlo, váyanlo, eh, váyanlo recogiendo y estudiando o copiándolo en un documento que tengan por ahí para luego estudiar. Now, communicate well, age of technology, problem solving, the 21st century, analyze information, good at making decisions. <laughs> what are these? Well, these are skills, right? These are, are skills that people, uh, companies take into consideration nowadays. Okay, nowadays, hoy en día. We are now we're gonna start, right? So you're gonna tell me what is the what is the possible uh, vocabulary that needs to or that fits into the space, okay? It says yeah. fill in the caps with the correct phrase from the box. Okay, I will start. We are living in the 21st century. The 21st. 21st, pardon, 21st. The 21st century, okay. We are living in the 21st century, aha. Uh -huh. Some people call it the, or the, the or the, I don't know. The age of technology. The age of technology, okay. Some people call it the age of technology. We need to learn skills such as, and we need to be able to with other people around the world. We need to learn skills such as, Communicate well. Communicate well. And we need to be able to with other people around the world. Communicate well. Ah, okay, so communicate well. <laughs> you think communicate well is over here. Is that right? 
let us continue and then we are gonna see if we get the last one over here. With other people around the world, communicate well with other people around the world. Em employers, employers are looking for people who can well people who are able to recognize whether information is reliable or not. Look for the info, please. Get concentrated. Get concentrated. This is just to start, people. We're going to see some more info. Analyze information. Okay, analyze. Analyze information well. Well. Uh, okay. People. people who are able to recognize whether information is reliable or not. They also like people who are without asking for help. Preposition ing form. Do you see? Do you remember about the topic? Preposition ing form. Okay, so we are missing two over here, right? So they um, also like people who are without asking for help. Solving, problem solving. Problem solving. Okay, and then, okay, if you say problem solving, then you say good making decision over here. <clears throat> now, we're going to read it. Ahora, lo vamos a leer así como, como lo, lo, lo hemos resuelto. Ok, como grupo, y vamos a ver si todo enlaza perfectamente. Si alguien tiene una opinión diferente, entonces cambiamos. We are living in the 21st century. Some people call it the age of technology. We need to learn skills such as good at making decisions. And we need to be able to communicate well with other people around the world. Employers are looking for people who can analyze information. Well, people who are able to recognize whether information is reliable or not. They also like people who are problem solving without asking for help. Is that correct? And analyze information is for this problem solving. They also like people who are analyzing information with you asking for help. So you think that in, the, in the last two parts, okay, for people who, who can analyze information. For people who, is that right? Yes or no? Fernando? No. No. So you think it's the opposite? Yes. Okay, let's see. Now we're gonna read it once again. And then if you if you if you agree, we're gonna leave it like that, we're gonna check it. Okay. We're living in the 21st century, and some people call it the, the age of technology. We need to learn skills such as good at making decisions. And we need to be able to communicate well with other people around the world. Employers are looking for people who can uh, who can problem solving well. Uh, people who are able to recognize whether information is reliable or not. They also like people who are analyze information. Is there any problem with this? Is there any problem, people? In the in the reading, yes or no? Tell if you encounter that there is a problem, just let me know it. Yes. Yeah. Any other problem? Uh, yes. And um, employers are looking for people who can. Uh, employers making, are looking for people who can who are making decisions well who can make who can uh, who can good at making who can no 
Okay. No. So let me see. Let me see. There are there are some problems yet. Todavía hay algún algo 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 que hay que corregir. Por ejemplo, observe. Now, if we say, for example, they also like people who are. A ellos también les gustan las personas que son. Que son, analizan información. Edge technology. No, but we started well. Creo que comenzamos bien, pero, hay, pero como, como que... <laughs> ok, we're gonna see the, we're gonna see the answers. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a terminar. Y de ahí vamos a volver a, a, a resolver. Ok, now you see. Now you notice about the problems. Ok, hicimos tres de seis. Now, we are living in the 21st century. Some people call it the age of technology. We need to learn skills such as, primer error. And we need to be able to communicate well with other people around the world. Employers are looking for people who can problem solving well, people who are able to recognize whether information is reliable or not. They also like people who are analyzing information without asking for help. So we, we got three of them only, right? First, this one, this one, this one. But what's the problem with this then? We need to learn skills such as Analyze information. Such as analyze information. And let me see. Employers are looking for people who can. We need to learn skills such as problem solving. Ah, okay. Okay. And then employers are looking for people who can. What is making? Who can good at making or who, who, who analyze can analyze information? Analyze information. Okay, we are gonna see where I will I will show the answers. Okay, and now look, we are living the 21st century. Some people call it the age of technology. We need to learn skills such as good at making decisions. And we need to be able to communicate well with other people around the world. Employers are looking for people who can problem solving well and people who are able to recognize whether the information is reliable or not. They also like people who are analyzing information. Now, let me see. Yeah, the, now yes. Now yes, I was just reading the same states, right? Now you can see, well, we, we need to learn skills such as problem solving. And we need to be able to communicate well. Uh, employers are looking for people who can analyze information well. And they also like people who are good at making decisions without asking for help. Now, wanna try it again? Let's try. Okay, no them for vencido. We are living in Twenty-first century. The twenty-first century. Some people call it the age of technology. The age of technology. We need to learn skills such as. Problem solving. That was problem solving. We're good at making decisions. Problem solving, and we need to be able to communicate well, communicate well with other people around the world. Employers are looking for people who can analyze information. Analyze information, and finally, uh, they also like people who are good at making decisions. Make decisions. Leaders, right? 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 So, right? 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 Right?
Ay, sí. podemos, podemos cometer errores y eso no es malo. Miren, son lo único que hacemos es repetir el ejercicio. Ok. Now we got a, we got a, 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 hand, a one hundred percent, right? So now that we are familiarized with the topic, ahora ya que ya nos familiarizamos, vamos a invertir 15 minutos, ¿ok? We're gonna we're gonna invest like 15 minutes more because this this is a good reading, ¿ok? <coughs> now I have this info. ¿Cuál es el propósito? Ya, ya les compartí el enlace, ¿ok? Porque aquí vamos a encontrar quizás algunas palabras que no conocemos y que debemos conocer. I will read. Yo voy a ir leyendo y ustedes me van diciendo qué palabras nos vamos a asignar como grupo. Como grupo. Aunque ya me la pueda, pero si lo hacemos como grupo, la voy a investigar de todas maneras, ¿ok? So we we'll say, I will read that you say, teacher, stop there. Teacher, deténgase ahí y, y subraya la palabra. Underline the word. Have you got the skills you need for the 21st century workplace? We need to develop all kinds of skills and survive in the 21st century. So like ICT. So, it, it means that when I read, cuando leo, y no, y no tengo, no tengo, digamos, este, reacciones, quiere decir que ya todos manejan ese, ese vocabulario. Entonces, me voy Develop. a detener. Develop. Yo, Develop. Ah, okay. Develop. Sí, porque, uh -huh. porque yo voy a empezar a preguntar, porque veo que, que es que... So, we need to develop two. Vamos a tomarlo como infinitivo, ¿ok? Porque hemos estado, hemos estado estudiando infinitivos. We need to develop all kinds of skills to survive in the 21st century. Some like ICT skills and knowledge of the digital world are taught specifically, absolutely explicitly in schools in the UK. Yeah. Okay, now we mention someone here. Somebody in the group. Eh, no, no new words, people. No new words. No hay palabras nuevas ahí. So. Abreviaturas o iniciales. ICT. Okay, so let us investigate about ICT. Tough so, teacher. Ah, ok, so now we have, right? Oh. Así que sí teníamos, ok. Que no nos dé pena identificarlas y si no las sé, no las sé, no hay problema, ok. okay, okay. Para eso es el Teacher. ejercicio. Tell me. Teacher, eh, the Va, no, vayan no, tomando apuntes, acuérdense que esa tarea es para todo el grupo, aunque ya me la pueda, pero la voy a seguir investigando. Significa right. conocimiento, ¿verdad? Los... Sí, no, porque es. digamos, esta palabra, knowledge, pues está aquí, está en un, en un determinado eh, tema, ¿verdad? Que es acerca de, de, de las destrezas en el siglo XXI. Pero esta palabra puede aparecer en otros contextos. Ok, so, es importantísimo que nos familiaricemos muchísimo con las palabras. Ok, so, vayan tomando apuntes, por favor, porque ya luego voy a borrar aquí para continuar abajo. Ok, knowledge of the digital world are taught explicitly in, in schools in the UK. Here are five less obvious ones for you to think about. No todos cantan en idioma, Bacala. Tell five, me. Five less. Five less. Y, y, que... Es... So, third skill employers may ask. Eh, five less is frasal verb, teacher. No, 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 not at all. No. Five is the number. Number five. 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 Yeah. Teacher. Tell me. 
the sorts of skills. Uh, the sorts of skills. Sort of skills. Sort of skills. Thank you. So the employers may ask you questions about in interviews. So it's a good idea to think about how good you are in these areas. What are your strengths? What are your strengths and weaknesses? Okay, si ya no hay más palabras. Strengths. Strengths. Uh, strengths. Weaknesses. Strengths uh -huh. and weaknesses. Okay, strengths and weaknesses. So, one, van contando ahí cuántas son. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight expressions, right? Eight. Now, okay, then we have imagination. In the age of technology, okay, now I will stop here just before uh, continuing with this. I will I will explain what's what's the purpose. Eh, Alguien podrá decir, teacher, ¿y qué sentido tiene que estemos subrayando, identificando palabras? Okay, le voy a decir para que ya tengan claridad en qué estamos haciendo. Solo estoy ejemplificando qué deberían de hacer, no qué deben, qué deberían de hacer como estrategia de estudio. Aquí hay un mensaje, ¿sí o no? Aquí en todo esto hay un mensaje. Entonces, cuando nos exponen a una lectura y me encuentro que con que no conozco, no conozco esto, no conozco esto, esto, esto y etcétera, todo eso me me, me, me impide obtener el 100% del mensaje. ¿Ok? Si yo los pongo a leer, ¿qué es lo que dice ahí en español? El mensaje va a quedar, se va a perder el mensaje. ¿Por qué? Porque hay demasiadas palabras que me impiden obtener la idea general. ¿Ok? Por eso es que estamos trabajando en reading ahora. Acuérdense que son cuatro destrezas. Entonces, ¿qué debo de hacer? Que lo leo una vez, identifico palabras que no conozco, lo vuelvo, las investigo, lo vuelvo a leer. Si sí, ahora sí ya me da que un 80% de sentido a lo, que, a lo que me está diciendo el párrafo, entonces ya estoy más cerca. Pero todavía quizás hay un par de palabras que debo seguir estudiando. Hasta que yo tenga el 100%, mi trabajo está hecho. ¿Ok? Lo sé perfectamente en inglés, lo sé perfectamente en español. ¿De acuerdo? O sea, los trabajos con lectura son un poquito más difíciles, son de más tiempo. Es de dedicarles más tiempo. ¿Ok? So, let's continue. Now, in the age of technology, that we are living in now, it is no longer enough to keep on making the same products. So far, so good. New approach. Sorry? sorry? New, uh, we can imagine the new approach. Employers need people. Ah, okay. Employers need people who can imagine new approaches. Approaches. And new ideas. Is that right? Yes. Think. Think of an object or gadget you use every day. How could it be improved? Can you think of three improvements? No more? Yes. Gadget. Yes. Uh, gadget. 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 Oh, how could it be improved? Can you think in in of uh, three improvements? Improvements. Uh, mm -hmm. Improvements. Improvements. Okay. Improve. So we got eight. Teníamos ocho, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. Eleven <laughs> new words. Uh, longer, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Longer. It's no longer. It's no longer enough. You know enough then. 
No. No, you know enough, right? So if you if you don't tell me that about it, it's because you know about this word. Longer is comparative or perishable. Yeah, it is. Okay, so far so good. May I erase? Can I continue? No longer. Any approaches? Catch it. Improvements. Okay, we're we're still missing seven minutes. Todavía tenemos siete minutos para este ejercicio. Okay, I will delete. Voy a borrar. No, and, teacher. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait. Sorry. Okay, there you are. Don't worry. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now I will I will try to continue because we only have seven minutes more. Okay. Problem solving. Employers will value workers who are able to see problems before they happen and come up with creative sol solutions. Come up with with creating creative solutions. Think. Imagine you are organizing an end of term social event at school. Think of some problems that you could face. Can you think of any solutions? Problem solving. No new words here? Oh. No. no. Not real. So if I ask you to come up with, what's the meaning? <laughs> what is the meaning? Um, teacher. Me? Es como proponer una solución creativa. Okay. Uh, and, I, and and of term social and of and term, of term. <laughs> social event so this is the, the 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 whole expression right so we got like 11 to 13 right tenemos 13 13 frases que estudiar En realidad esto esto lo, les va a quedar de tarea porque no creo que lo podamos abordar este en esta misma noche, ¿verdad? Porque hay que estudiarlas y hay que presentarlas. All right, can I continue? Yes, no. Cool thing. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. face. Yes. Michael, face. ah? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, okay, that you could face. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So problems that you could face. Actually, well, think mm -hmm. of some problems mm -hmm. that you could mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. Tomemos la idea de aquí porque si no, pues, mm -hmm. se pierde como... Mm -hmm. Think of some problems that you could face. 11, 12, 13, 14. Ya llevamos 14 frases. Okay, so I will move on. 14. I will move on. I will continue. Okay, can I continue? Yes. 
Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. So, communication skills. Oops. Creo que no nos va a alcanzar mucho. El tesoro nos queda unos cuantos minutitos. Uh, communication skills. Workers will have to be good communicators. They will have to be able to negotiate and discuss key issues. And also write a clear way without using too many words. New words? New vocabulary? Will help to? Will be to have to be able? Will help to. To be able to. Okay. Issues. Have to be able to That's it. Issues? Yes. Okay. Issues. Key issues. Key issues. And Key also issues. write it in a clear way without using too many words. Many words. Think. How do people communicate with each other in the 21st century? Create card analysis. Employers want workers who are able to recognize the difference between information that can be believed and false information. Think, use the internet to find out three facts about celebrity or famous figure. Can you verify the information by checking other websites? New words? Verify. Tell me, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Three facts, teacher. Three uh, facts. Uh, three facts. Three facts. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, to, find, find to, find, to, find facts. Out, to find out three facts. Facts. About a celebrity. Good. So, 14, 15, 16, 17. Tenemos 17 expresiones nuevas. Can I continue? Yes, teacher. All right. All right. Uh, si, alguien, si alguien los está digitando en, en el documento Word, es, lo pueden copiar para no estarlo digitando mucho eh, eh, y pegarlo en el, en, el, en el WhatsApp para que todos tengamos acceso en caso a alguien se se haya quedado sin copiar algo, ¿ok? Ok, so the decision making is the other one. Me dijo... Bueno, por... Ahí por la panadería, por la... la decision por making... La católica, me dijo, por la panadería. ¿Cuál? La tienda, por la panadería, me dijo. Okay. Now we we'll continue. Come on. Uh, decision making individual workers have a growing amount of, amount of responsibility. It's important to be able to evaluate a situation and be confident in making a decision. Think, which three things could you do to uh, be healthier, B, to better at school, and C, help others? Make a decision now to do at least one of these things, then just do it. Actually, just do it. Okay, now any new expression here? At uh, least growing. Okay, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, growing, a bit. growing a growing amount. Growing amount. It's worth uh, to be able to evaluate a situation and be confident in making a decision. You know, confident, right? Well, if you don't know, just let me know. Which which three which three things could you do too? Be healthier, do better at school, and help others make a decision now to do at least, at least? Yes. Uh, this, this one was, at least one of these things. Then just do it. 
just it, all right? So we 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 have like cuántos teníamos cuántas expresiones? How many? How many new expressions? Mm, 20 creo. Yeah, now we're I think we got 20, right? I think 17, 18, mm. 19, it's around 20 new words, new expressions, okay? It's like 20. Mm -hmm. So this is this is going to be homework. Okay. This is going to be homework. But besides that, what are you gonna do with this activity? ¿Qué más van a sacarle de provecho a esta actividad? Bueno, veamos. Uh, over here, there is, well, there is another exercise. Uh, let me see. That's, that's, the, that's the comprehension. Like, check your understanding, true or false. Okay, oh. now you are going to complete this one. Okay. Eso es tarea, eso es tarea. And you're going to check your vocabulary gap field. So you have some vocabulary, miren. Sí. Differentiate, develop, so have. En realidad, la mayoría de estos, si sí, ustedes ya las conocen. A excepción que parece que develop. Okay, but do me the favor to complete this, this exercise. I okay. See. Yeah. Okay. Now that we we got familiarized with the topic, because this was just to introduce the topic we are in church of uh, working tonight. Okay, estamos claros con esta tarea. Pudiéramos dedicarle más tiempo, pero hay otros, hay hay mucho más que que adentrarnos en esta noche. Okay. Eh, teacher, y esa tarea, el enlace lo, lo envió. Eh. Sí, ahorita se lo comparto en el en WhatsApp y se lo compartí acá en el chat, ¿ok? British Council. Oh. Okay, really. All right. So, well, do me the favor to finish this activity. Any question about it? So, whenever we get back, <laughs> cuando regresemos a, la, a, las, a las sesiones o las clases, eh, voy a pedirles, solo lo vamos a hacer una vez, ¿ok? Que me lo lean, o sea, yo les voy a ir señalando y ustedes me lo van a ir leyendo en español, ¿ok? Solo una vez vamos a hacer eso. De tal modo que nos aseguremos que sé perfectamente que dice esto en inglés y en español, ¿ok? ¿Ok? ¿Any okay. question? Eso viene siglo. No, no, cuestión. Ok, eso, miren, eh, chicos y, eh, y todos acá en el grupo, esto solo es un ejemplo de cómo y una sugerencia, no lo tomen que... Eh, sí, bueno, a, a mí me funcionó mucho de esta manera. Cuando yo eh, eh, estudiaba... Me, me funcionaba trabajarlo de esa manera, ya hasta que yo decía, bueno, ya tengo el 100% de, de la información, ya sé qué es lo que, entonces hasta ese momento yo daba como mi trabajo terminado. ¿Okay? Pronunciación, significado, ¿por qué? Porque después vienen otros ej ejercicios que hay que desarrollar. Ok, so that this was just an example, ok, for you to Ah, to, 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 to use it, uh, to study, okay? Well, we finally got, al fin llegamos, en realidad, pues, creo que todo es beneficioso, pero tenemos un tema en particular esta noche. Look, well, we were, we were working with this, right? So, I won't go over this. No, no voy a irme a detalle con cada ejercicio porque recuérdense que va es uh, infinitivos. Esto es lo que vimos la semana pasada al inicio. Y hemos hecho infinidad de, de ejercicios. Entonces, sí es necesario que ustedes lo vayan desarrollando en el PDF. Eso sí, porque de, en, un, en un repaso, pues yo puedo, yo puedo regresar a un ejercicio y pedirle a alguien que nos que nos ayude a cómo desarrolló cierto ejercicio. 
Okay, so but the topic for tonight, okay, we are gonna be able to each change information about the company's expertise, industrial classification, and where it operates. Now, question, do you often attend seminars? Tell me yes or no. Yes or no, I will ask one, one by one, okay? Because uh, sometimes I feel that I, I need, I need, well, Jonathan, do you usually go uh, to, to att do you attend seminars? Mm. Um, yes. Mm. You say, yes, I do. Um. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, I do. All right. <laughs> no more, Jonathan. They say, yes, I do. I, I think they are very important in order to improve at, at work. Okay. Otra, otra sugerencia. Cuando llegamos a un teacher, otro teacher, porque hoy tuve la suerte de tenerlos nuevamente acá, la mayoría de ustedes. Pero... Cuando, digamos, otro teacher les haga una pregunta, tratemos siempre de alargarnos un poquito, estirarnos un poquito con, con la información. Recuérdense que vamos aumentando de nivel. Uh, well, is it easy for you to socialize at those events? This is another question, right? So I will ask uh, to another person. Let me see. Uh, I saw that Anissa is a listener tonight. Aníbal, do you often attend seminars? Sometimes, teacher. Sometimes. Oh, I sometimes attend seminars. Now, uh, Aníbal, is it is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I I think you are, you are, you can socialize very easy in a group. Okay. Now, this is a good question. Hey, how do you usually break the ice? What is what is the expression break the ice? This Compared is the, you. yeah, that's right. So make people feel more friendly uh, to talk to each other. Now, think about it. Think about it. Think about this, please. Uh, how many questions do I have here? Vamos, vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a invertir cinco minutos en esto. Tengo una pregunta que ya se la voy a volver a hacer de manera individual. Tengo otra pregunta acá. Y tengo otra pregunta acá. Tengo tres preguntas. Ok. Let us think. Pensemos en cómo contestar esas preguntas. Ok. Five minutes. Five minutes. Le doy cinco minutos, ¿ok?
Now, if you are ready, just let me know it. By raising your hand, okay? Okay, two minutes more, then I will start the, the questions. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. Okay. Okay. Well, let me see. Uh, Juan Fernando, do you often attend seminars? Um. Yes. Uh, usually on Friday. All right. Uh, what do you think? Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Uh, yes, I um I like to talk a lot. How do you usually break the ice? <laughs> um, I always break the ice when he asks me what I do. Okay, when somebody asks you about your activities. Okay, thank you. Uh, Daniel? What about you? Do you often attend seminars? Yes, I attend seminars once or twice a year. Wow, is it easy for you to socialize at those events? For me, it's not easy. <laughs> uh, but uh, break the ice, uh, only say hello, how are you? <laughs> okay, just by saying hello, right? You can break the ice hello. by saying hello <laughs> to somebody, right? Yeah, okay, thank you. Ah, and that's right, so that's it, right? Thank you. Uh, Anibal, what about you? Do, you? do you often attend seminars, Anibal? Okay. Uh, seminars are necess necessary because your friend, uh, new friends are made and uh, new skills are developed uh, and ideas. Great info, Aníbal. But listen, listen carefully, right? Do you often attend seminars, Aníbal? <laughs> Is yes. It, yes, I do, teacher. I consider I that. Do. And sometimes, uh, no, casi, casi no voy a, casi. Uh, oh, I, I almost never attend <laughs> seminars. Okay. Fíjese que la info está genial, está súper bonito lo que dijo, 
pero hay que concentrarnos en la pregunta que nos hacen al inicio. Okay. Hey, do you often attend seminars? Yes, I do. I, I do attend seminars. And then I consider that very important because you can express your ideas and you can listen to the ideas, uh, uh, the, some other people's ideas. Okay, it's genial. Pero demos la respuesta a la pregunta inicial. Now, once again, Aníbal, is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Uh, yes, because I like to socialize uh, with new friends and share ideas. How do you usually break the ice? <laughs> I greet in new college. Uh, you, you greet your new colleagues. Excellent, very good. <laughs> now, I don't know, but I, I, I read Berenice is as a listener tonight. Uh, Edgar? Oh, so he is as a listener. I'm sorry, I did. I have Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Hello. Now, I will, I will try to finish with you because. We need to, to see some more info. Hey, do you often attend seminars, uh, Jonathan? Um, yes, I do. I have been uh, attend seminars. Uh, is, it, is it for you to socialize at those events? Yes, I will find it easy to socialize at these types of events. How do you usually break the ice? Um... En eso me quedé. En eso estaba ahorita. Ah, ok. Just by saying hello, teacher. Ah, you say, hey, just by saying hello. That's the, 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 the best way to break the ice. Oh, uh, but, wow, that was really nice, uh, Jonathan. Good smile. And, <laughs> uh, well, I smile, I, I smile to, to the, the rest of the <laughs> colleagues and that's it, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Jonathan. That was quite good. Okay. Now, if you, if anybody else wants to participate, this is the opportunity. Si alguien más quiere participar. Okay. And the no. last question, teacher. Uh, okay, Merlin, Merlin. Mm. Merlin, do you usually attend seminars? Uh, yes, I, I do, I do often attend seminars. Yeah, is it, is it for you to socialize at those events? Um, yes, it is for me. Uh, how do you usually break the ice? Hmm. I I do questions about uh, where where do you where do you live um are you have children um what is your favorite favorite sport and another questions okay so you ask questions to people right that's a good way right where do you live now what do you do in your free time do you go to church do you like to go to the park etc good good i like the idea thank you and michael i can see that you want to participate okay michael uh, do you often attend seminars, Michael? Uh, no often, teacher. Only we we have a capacitation with the other areas. Uh, we you have some some trainings, and then you can share some other ideas. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events, Michael? Michael? Uh, no, no, teacher. It is not uh, easy for you. No, no, easy for me because don't have the experience and I don't have much work, but the uh, speak. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, 
And how do you usually break the ice? Mm, yes, I do. I usually break the ice with the new staff in my company. I'm doing a, a yoke, yoke respectfully. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, pay attention, everyone. I have a, a conversation over here where we have like uh, 35 minutes more in order to go over some, some more vocabulary related to uh, the topic that we're in church of working tonight. That's about industrial classification, uh, companies expertise, and where it operates. So we have to learn a lot of info, okay? So I have a conversation between Rick and Jack. <clears throat> and as you can see, there is some vocabulary that we need to go over and study uh, for a while. Rick starts and he says, hey, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Now, what is this person, people? My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Then Jack says, nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Enix. I -N -C. Yeah, that's what does INS INC do, Jack? We manufacture cabo boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Jeez. Does INX have any branches? Uh, have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama, All right? So now new words, people, new expressions. Branches. Branches. We have branches. Cardboard. 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 Yeah, let, let, okay, let, one by one. Jonathan, I don't know what you said. Could you please repeat? Um. Because you were saying well, something, right? Um, bueno, INEX es una empresa, ¿verdad? Entonces, el nombre de una empresa. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, but branches, okay. Cardboard, Michael said <laughs> cardboard, cardboard boxes. Any other new word or any other comment? Headquarters. A headquarters. Cuartel general, bueno, headquarters. A sede. Yeah. Branches, no drama, yeah, Michael, that's it. But you know, we're talking about companies, right? Sure. It's not a, it's it's not about talking about trees, but a company. No more expressions. Mm. No. No more, right? So you see. This, this is easier, right? Esto está más sencilla que la que estudiamos al inicio en, en la lectura. Sacamos mucho vocabulario. Now, where are they? They are at a seminar. Okay, now I will ask two people, uh, two or four, four uh, two couples to read. Necesito cuatro voluntarios que, que lean en parejas, por favor. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Vera Liz. Okay, we're gonna start with Michael and Vera Liz. Michael, you start. My name is Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for INX INC. What does INX Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does 
Uh, I next, how many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. I need two more people. Thank you, Edgar. No, but Edgar is... No, two more people, okay? Two more people. Okay, yeah, Edgar. Can. Yeah, thank you, Edgar, and thank you... Wow, a lot of, a lot of participants now. I think Merlin, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, now let's see. Merlin... And Edgar, and, and after that, we're gonna we're gonna listen to Aníbal and, and Michael once again. Okay, you can start. Merlin, you start. Uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What that? Inex INC do jack. We manufacture cardboard box for okay. packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, yeah, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Dear Panama, thank you very much. We have Aníbal and Michael. Uh, because I don't know if there is another person who wants to yes. participate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Aníbal, you start. Okay, thank you, teacher. My name is Rick. Uh, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. Well, that's the next I and C do Jack. We manufacture cardboards, boxers, and packing companies. Oh, I see. That's the next. How many branches? Yes, I does. We have three manufacturing branch branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? And they are in Panama. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank thank you, you very much. Now, headquarters. headquarters. Now, what can we? Uh, what else can we do with this? Now, as you can see, well, another piece of advice when facing any uh, any other exercise is the following. Now. Some people were asking about what's the meaning of headquarters, right? Or there were some more people who say, I don't know what branch means, teacher, in this case. So you look for the meaning. You look for the meaning. Well, I highly recommend you to look for the meaning in English. Les recomiendo que empiecen, digamos, by, por ejemplo, al inicio con la lectura. Se recuerdan que obtuvimos la tarea de adquirir 20 expresiones o palabras en inglés. Okay. Yo les recomiendo que siempre que busquemos vocabulario, que lo hagamos en inglés, ¿ok? Y que no nos vayamos a un diccionario español-inglés. Y yo les voy a decir por qué. Bueno, dejemos el recurso español hasta el final. O sea, no es que sea malo buscarlo en español, sino que, bueno, lo busco inglés-inglés, Lo leo, headquarters, the place where a company organization had its main offices. Bueno, a lo mejor tengo la palabra headquarters como tal, la pronunciación, significado. <coughs> Pero cuando yo lo busco en la web, me lanza esto. ¿Y qué más le puedo, le puedo sacar de provecho a esto? Ah, bueno, a lo mejor no sé qué significa its main, its main offices. 
Entonces, en la misma, en la misma tarea de buscar una palabra, me encuentro con otra. ¿Ok? Y le saco doble tajada a una misma tarea. So, the same may happen with the word branch. A shop or office representing a large company organization in a particular area. Okay, maybe I don't know what, what is a shop, right? Es solo un ejemplo. Sé que esto es vocabulario básico. Pero a lo mejor no sé qué es shop. Entonces, que aquí en lugar de, de llevarme una palabra, me llevo o oh, aprendo dos. All right? Piece of advice, piece of advice. Dice, pero es más trabajo. Sí, claro, pero es más beneficioso. Es más beneficioso. Y ahí es donde muchos, muchos participantes van ganando la delantera. ¿Verdad? No, ya, ya les he dicho yo que esto no es competencia, sino es competencia conmigo mismo. What question will do us, Rick, to continue the conversation? Okay, so we're going to work with this like, like, let me see. Five, ten, fifteen minutes. Now we're gonna work on it like ten minutes. Okay, and if we have time, we're gonna finish with with uh this topic by uh checking this this um product or service to the corresponding interested type. Okay, vamos a tratar de culminar con esto. Okay, but meanwhile, let me see. Let us work in this part. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esto? Vamos a incluirle a la conversación, la vamos a expandir. ¿Ok? Um, lo vamos a hacer de manera individual. Porque, pues, a ver qué más le pudiéramos incluir a esta conversación. Ok, añadamos o incluyamos dos participaciones más. Dos más, solo dos más. ¿Ok? ¿Qué más pudiésemos incluir ahí? We are working in the pinch number... Number 19. So, take, take, no, five minutes. Take five minutes. Yeah, to, to, to... To include like two expression or two more participation, right? It can be at the beginning, puede ser al inicio, at the middle, or at the end, right? So you decide. Okay. Take a couple of minutes, and then you 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 will tell me what you what will you include in the conversation.
Okay, people, uh, did you get some expressions to, in to include or to be included in the conversation? Let me see. Oh, okay, okay, Juan Fernando, I got it. Don't worry. Take your time. I had two expressions, people, so that we can continue, okay? No new expressions? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, tell me. What size boxes do you make? Okay. So you included information over here, right, Daniel? Yes. yes. We manufacture cardboard boxes a packaging company. Okay, I see that uh, INX have many branches. Okay, but do you included the info over here, right? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging company. Then Rick may ask, hey, what size do you manufacture? Do what you size? Know. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So that would be one question there. Any other expression in the conversation? Do you have a branch in El Salvador? Do you have a branch in El Salvador? Good question. <laughs> but actually, well, you, you don't you don't ask for a company like do you, right? So you say does. Yes. Yeah, does INEC have a branch in El Salvador? Yeah, now it's, I think it's better. Okay, very good. We, we could see, or we can see like different expressions. We, we can, um, we can continue with, with, the, with the conversation, right? We could expand the information, but you see. Well, you do it by your own. Okay, now over here it says that you, you, you have a chart over here in which you need to include three companies. Okay, identify if the company you chose a uh, have branches and also tell us about the their headquarters. Okay. You you can you can you can you can do it, right? You can do it uh, as a homework also. I mean, to work it later, because what really matters to me is to try to, fi to finish with this, right? Like matching, because remember, we are just getting some vocabulary. Okay, it happens that um, there are some products, services, and um, in, the, in the industry, in different, uh, branches of the industry and we need to tie we need to match match the product okay with the service now industry about banks industry bank industry what do they provide Number one is over here, right? 
the finance industry. Yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. What about soft drinks? Soft drink. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Excellent, Daniel. Very good. Daniel got it, right? Daniel got number two here. The beverage industry. What about number three? Guided tours. I tour. I the touring industry. This is number three then. The letter I. The tourism industry. Cardboard boxes. The packaging industry. Letter B. Letter B, the construction industry. Okay, Daniel got it. Daniel included number four over here. So cardboard no, boxes, sure. the packaging industry. Sí, Number... la que yo decía era la cinco, teacher, disculpe. Oh, all right, very good. So, so now, better list. Buildings? A little B. Now, yes, very good. The construction industry. Mm, uh, mobile phones. D. 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 Good. This is number six, then. Number seven, medicine. Letter G. Uh, it's letter J. Number seven. Number eight, card components. Letter F. Letter F. Number nine, hair salon services. Little uh, A. The letter A. And letter C. And number 10, clothes. Letter C. This is number 10. Pretty good, great info. Okay, so you see, we got some vocabulary. We, we match the product or the service to the corresponding industry. Okay, industries, and now here we have the product or the service. Okay, pretty good. Let me see the chat, there are some people. Oh, Berenice is participating through the chat, good. Hmm. All right, so you see, we're gonna, we're gonna work a little bit in something in something else, okay? So, vamos a hacer algo. Well, let me see. I will stop sharing this and I will go over the platform. So, this is our topic, right? Vocabulary, industry vocabulary. And we have this task, right? For example, we say the beauty and personal care industry. It says match the product service to the corresponding industry type. What is it? Guided Hair tour. salon service. Hair salon services. Okay. okay, now, what are you gonna do? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Ya tenemos una tarea. Yo regularmente dejo dos tareas, okay? Esta va a ser la segunda. Usted va a elegir dos um, um, industrias que investigar. Por ejemplo, hair salon services se van a empapar, digamos que alguien elige esto, y se van a empapar de vocabulario, 
de en qué, en qué consiste la industria, eh, cualquier información que ustedes consideren relevante para que nos la presenten cuando regresemos. Okay? What is the other one? The construction industry. What is, what is all about? Guided tours, buildings, hair salon, services, medicine, or mobile yeah. phones? Buildings. 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 Okay. Si alguien quiere investigar industry y beauty, okay. Mm -hmm. The beauty and personal industry would be a right. Number three, tourism industry. Guided tours. Guided, Guided tours. Guided tours. All right. Si alguien quiere seguir con esto o pues ustedes van a elegir que cualquiera de estos, ok, dos, deben elegir dos. The telecommunications industry. Mobile phones. Mobile phones. Ok. And the pharmaceutical industry. Medicine. 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 Ok. We show the answer. Great. Right. So, do me the favor to finish it in the platform. Hágame el favor de completar eh, la actividad en la plataforma mientras yo uh, paso lista. Y también, por favor, los que todavía tienen pendientes actividad de la semana 1, complétenlas. Tenemos 10 minutos. ¿Ok? Teacher. Tell me. Eh... Con esta tarea para la otra semana, eh, opcional, dos temas. Sí, so, usted elige dos, dos industrias, perdón. Oh, okay. eh, de, de, de esta tarea, seis. O oh, si usted quiere irse, pues no le gustan estas, pues entonces puede, puede irse a, a las que las que vimos en el chart, en el, en el cuadrito que estuvimos trabajando. Ah, ok. Ok, este es, lo que necesito es que se empapen con... Con, por lo menos con dos. Dos industrias. Sí. Ok, porque así pues enriquecemos vocabulario. Lo compartimos en el, en el grupo. Y al mismo tiempo practicamos nuestro speaking. O sea, trae mucho beneficio. Ok. So, I will stop sharing. And I will check the list of tenders. Aidan? Belen? Daniel? Present teacher. Okay, Edgar? Present teacher. Thank you. Gladys? Good. Jonathan? Present teacher. All right. Jose Daniel? Juan Fernando? Present teacher, perdón, no me funcionó el micrófono. Uh, okay, no problem. Eh, María Elba? Thank you, Mario Cristóbal. Berenice, I know you are there, don't worry. Merlin? I am here, teacher. Good. Michael? Here, teacher. Okay. Aníbal? Norma Xiomara. Ronan. Teresa. Teresa. 
Vera Liz. Present teacher. Okay. En chance. Present teacher. Okay, now I'll let you know what's what what what's going on with this. Okay, por ahí veo algunas inasistencias. Okay, espero pues les hayan llamado para verificar este el motivo de por cual por el cual ustedes este en algún momento no pudieron asistir a la sesión. Recuérdense que es importantísimo lograr como mínimo el 80% de la asistencia. Eso es lo mínimo. Para que no, para, para que logren culminar con mucho éxito el, este nivel. ¿Ok? Si ustedes se dan cuenta, ya este... El cambio de un nivel a otro, pues, se, 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 se nota mucho, ¿verdad? Y ahora, pues, estamos eh, haciendo otro tipo de actividades. Y estamos practicando mucho más de lo que lo hacíamos en básico. Si ustedes se recuerdan, en básico 1, perdón, era como el teacher hablaba más y más, y ya poco a poco ya ustedes van tomando como más protagonismo en las clases. O sea, yo eso es lo que yo voy buscando, ¿ok? Que ustedes tengan más protagonismo en, en las sesiones, que perdamos el temor de hablar, de que, pues, empecemos a, a practicar lo que hemos estado eh, investigando, ¿ok? Pronunciación, estructura. Recuérdense que todos los días hay que aprenderse una frase nueva. Eh, tenemos la tarea de aprendernos muchos verbos. Eh, este es el tiempo. Este es el tiempo en donde más debemos aprovechar aprender vocabulario. ¿Ok? Vocabulario, verbos, pronunciación. Porque cuando ya estemos, o cuando ya estén ahí como por intermedio, uh, upper, intermediate, se van a dar cuenta que, pues, viene más vocabulario y ya no se va a detener tanto el docente en, en explicar como a detalle cada palabra o a que investiguemos cada palabra a detalle, sino que, este, mientras más, este, pasa el tiempo, más vocabulario hay que ir adquiriendo. Eso es, eso es lógico, ¿verdad? Pero este, les, les, les menciono esto porque estamos justo en el momento en donde debemos de llenarnos de vocabulario. Eso no se va a terminar. O sea, vamos a llegar avanzado y vamos a seguir aprendiendo vocabulario. Pero ahorita es de prepararnos como para irnos a enfrentar a un intermedio. Y cuando estemos intermedio, vayamos pensando, bueno, cuando llegue avanzado, ya ten, ten, debo de tener este, o debo de haber adquirido más vocabulario para que este, se les sientan que, que, que ya este, el mensaje, pues ahí se va adquiriendo casi simultáneamente, ya sin necesidad de irse a un, a un diccionario o, o a un traductor. Se van a dar cuenta que con el tiempo uno aprende como a, a obtener el significado de las palabras solo por contexto, o sea, esa es una manera, por contexto. Ok, pero para, para llegar a ese nivel, hay que, primero, hay que aprender mucho vocabulario. Ok. No sé si hay este, participación, comentarios. Eh, ¿Tenemos claridad sí, con las dos tareas? Justo eso le iba a preguntar. Okay, Merlin, Merlin. Eh, mencionó, bueno, están las las palabras que debemos traducir, eh, las primeras que se iban subrayando. Esa es una tarea, ¿verdad? Claro. E y... Investigarlas. Ajá. Eh, cuando digo investigar, eh, me refiero a significado, pronunciación y eh, cómo la leemos en contexto. Porque se recuerdan que yo les dije que, que vamos a hacer como un pequeño ejercicio de 
de pedir a algunos que me lean lo que ven en inglés, pero que lo vayan diciendo en español. Ah, vaya. Okay. Y, y la otra, eh, la de elegir las industrias, dos industrias. Exacto. En Empaparse. que consisten e información relevante. Ok, información relevante, lo que usted eh, considere que es de suma importancia y que lo quiera compartir acá con nosotros. Si no le parecen la, la, las opciones que están en el ejercicio 6, pues ustedes pueden tomarse la libertad de elegir otras dos. Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok, no sé si es Daniel o alguien más. No, no question. No, no question, no comments. Ok, so if, the, if you don't have any questions, we're going to stop by here. Hey, have uh, uh, great vacations with your family, with your beloved ones, because, you know, vacaciones es un tiempo que se debe aprovechar mucho en familia. Ok, porque si ustedes se dan cuenta, trabajamos mucho, invertimos demasiado tiempo en nuestros trabajos y pues casi nunca tenemos tiempo con nuestra familia. Entonces hoy creo que es bonito darle vuelta a la tortilla, como decimos, y dedicarnos de lleno a ellos. Ok, así que felices vacaciones, que descansen y que disfruten. Los veo Gracias. la próxima semana, ok. Good night. Good night. Happy holiday. Okay, goodbye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night.